Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express. A very ticked off Vic here. You know what ticks me off? Spam emails from strangers saying they have a lot of money for you. Now, follow me. I'm sure you all get this shit every day in your inbox or spam folder. Who is fucking falling for this bullshit? It's called phishing because they are fishing for suckers. But it's spelled P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G because the internet has to have some sort of cute high-tech name for the scam. And if I ever catch these people, I will fist them. But I will spell it P-H-I-S-T-I-N-G. But you can spell it however you want. I'm still going to shove my fist right up their ass when I find them. This is not only a ticked off Vic, but it's a public service announcement to any of you who wonder if these emails are real. Now, there's a lot of fucking sick people out there who prey on the needy. I remember uh, many years ago, and this is the God's honest truth. My grandmother, she came to visit, and she said, all of our problems are solved. Then she pulled out the publisher's uh, clearinghouse mailing that said, you have just won $10 million. Contact us to collect your money. We, we, had, we had to explain to her how and why this wasn't real. But the publisher's clearinghouse isn't dangerous. They just use a technique that I think is, is a shitty way to grab people's attention. No, the, the, the email scams are really fucked up because there's no disclaimer or anything like that. They really try to scam people and really target those who are desperate or ignorant or the elderly or anyone who could believe that a stranger from Mongongo has 37 million just sitting around waiting for you to email them back. The first tip off is the opening line. I'm a clerk in the foreign remittance department of a bank. Hello, I'm a Nigerian prince. The federal government has directed me to compensate the sum of $6.5 million to you through payment of an ATM card. I'm a widow and I have decided to contact you. I'm a single lady and I want you to be my partner slash investor, investor for money I inherited. I want to donate 12.5 million British pounds, and I want you to manage the fund. Good day, my dearest one. Holy fuck, run from that one. And I just got my first one from Warren Buffett. Who wants to give me 1.5 million? What a guy, huh? Now look, these fucking people are despicable for trying to fool people into giving out personal information, and sometimes for sending money. But listen... You guys out there, listen, you you got to not be so gullible, too. You have to take a little blame if you fall for this fucking bullshit. I mean, this, I got a bridge to sell you kind of stuff. I mean, if you're going to believe a Nigerian prince is reaching out to give you $64 million, then, well, I got a bridge to sell you. Look, there are no easy shortcuts to life. We all want to find that brown bag full of cash in a garbage can, or the, or the bale of weed that washes up on a beach, or the baseball card in the attic, or find that famous painting behind the cheap painting you bought at the flea market. But that's needle in a haystack shit. You can't live your life waiting for that stuff to happen. If a stranger emails you out of the blue, you delete the email. If they ask for your name and address and bank information, you delete the email. No matter what they say, just delete the fucking email. I don't want to see your sad story on a local news feature called Scam by the Nigerian Prince. Just delete all your fucking emails and start writing postcards again. That way you, you can't get scammed. Spam emails from strangers saying they have a lot of money for you. That's what ticks me off.